all right. Actually, no, 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 <laughs> that was meant to be a Scouse impression because I'm in Liverpool, but I'm really not good at impressions. So yeah, just forget that. But yes, I'm in Liverpool because, I don't know if you remember, maybe a week and a half ago, week and a half or so ago, anyway, I put out a video encouraging some of you to do your longest ever ride. And today I'm gonna to be riding with not just one, but a group of people who are doing their longest ride. And I'm on my way to meet them now. I'm gonna let them share what they're doing because it is just phenomenal, incredible, and I'm just really glad that I'm able to come and share some of it with you. So I'm gonna head on now. I'm not gonna talk any more Scouse accent and I'll catch up with you when I've met the group. You're not gonna believe this. I massively messed this up. So of their route today, I was gonna ride part of it with them. So I was driving to one spot and I would ride the opposite direction to meet them. So as they'd be coming up, I'd be going down. I've ridden up, I've ridden further away from them. What an absolute idiot. I've been riding for about 40 minutes. I'm trying to push it a bit so I get to ride with them otherwise. We're just going to meet at the set place, which is where I parked, so... Oh, I'll get to meet him. Look how pretty this is as well. Right, so I can see his location on the map. And we're getting closer, it's not that far away now. I've just seen them, I've just seen them! Hi! Hey! Hey. I'll carry on, I'll catch you. Yeah, cool. So you just want to introduce yourself and tell me what you're doing? Yeah, yeah, so I'm Sam Taylor um, and we're doing a thing called the Duchenne Research Relay which is a 380 mile bike ride in three days uh, and we're like, joining up four of the main uh, research centres in the UK who carry out research into a treatment called, uh, into a condition called Duchenne Muscular Dystrophy. Uh, my 12 year old son Will's got Duchenne. Um, there isn't a treatment at the minute. Uh, he's losing his mobility and ability to walk and climb stairs and stuff and we're desperate to, to get treatment as soon as we can. Yeah. So this is the team, this is part of the team anyway isn't it? Yeah everyone! <laughs> going to Alderhay, um, which is one of the main research, a major research centre for muscular dystrophy, uh, but it's pretty important to us um, because just before Christmas two years ago Will broke his leg in a sledging accident pretty severely uh, and the guys here put it back together basically yeah. and got him going and uh, he's been riding his bike again so he's, he's pretty unique I think there's not many kids who have what he has but he's just incredibly determined um, and he's got an e-bike uh, and we went and rode all the seven stains. Our thoughts are with you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> We're here at Old Hay Hospital. Um, this is the third stop on our relay tour of England. Um, and we've just met the uh, research team that are doing the work to find the treatments for the general muscular dystrophy. Um, so, it was great to see those guys, not just because they're the people that give us the hope that, that they're going to find the treatment that's going to, that's going to help Will, um, but also um, they treated Will last year and just, we were in a mess, we were in, you know, he, he and, and just got him on the road to recovery and that meant a hell of a lot, so yeah, it was quite emotional seeing them just, just a minute ago. It's incredible to do something with people like this who are just, that these are our support network, you know, these guys, and, and they're not, uh, look, there's some awesome cyclists in this gang, but there's some people who didn't own a road bike three months ago, haven't done any training, got the GCSE results yesterday, you know. The, bo the other bonus, aside from the fundraising and awareness of the condition and the awareness of the research, is that we're giving our kids incredible role models in these people who get off the backsides and, and help us out. The more money that we can raise, the faster the research can happen, the sooner we'll have a treatment and that's that's what it is and what would that mean for you and your family uh, to have that yeah it means a, a longer better life for will and, and, and what's more important than that yeah uh, my son's got muscular dystrophy different strain to sam's uh it's different strain to will sorry um it's a becca but it's incredibly closely linked 
our boys suffer and it hurts Sorry. it really hurts and the money that goes into the research that we raise it, we see it going directly to them the dream is a cure soon and it's looking like more um, I've heard it's, it's more of when not if now and doing these events and raising this money goes towards getting closer to that yeah that set, to see it? my lad walk be able to get up the stairs again I could die happy well I'll die happy man anyway yeah. because you know we get on with life that's what we do but it would make him a happy man which is what it's all about see you later all right. Rich what Radox when I get in so I'm heading back to my car. These guys have got another 30 miles to Preston. Uh, incredible stuff, honestly. But I can tell them that the next part of the route is very nice because I've just done it early today. Side. We left third this morning and turned up first at some point. Oh really? Oh, you're yeah, obviously the quickest. We're, we're basically the elite team. We don't like to brag <laughs> I about. I tell you it. what, we're we a very good brain. team. We're we're good. Good. Yeah. Yeah. We are. Yeah. I think. Yes. We almost know what we're, we're doing. We're very good at fixing punches. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who is navigating? I'm charged. That's we'll get to very Preston, worrying. We'll be fine. <laughs> I'm good at guessing though. <laughs> we're quite clearly the fun so team, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> oh no, God, to scupper them all. <laughs> How amazing is that group? Honestly, for the short time that I was riding with them, just amazing, doing incredible things and all pushing themselves to the limit just to be able to raise money for such an incredible charity and I'm going to leave a link in the description box if you want to go and donate um, and a lot of them, I think most most of them actually did their longest ride during this um, event and they weren't the only ones because Sam was part of my Strava challenge and a lot of you also took part so I'm going to share some of your clips now because there were so many different distances. I'm so incredibly, I just feel really proud that you all pushed yourselves and did your longest ride. So there were some like over 300, 200s, um, 100s. There were just so many different varieties of distances, but all your longest. So I'm going to leave some clips now of you taking part and doing your longest ride. So well done and I'll see you all next video. I am 85 kilometers in and it's hard oh my god everything hurts ah! i did it 104 kilometers i'm doing my 100k challenge i'm on my gravel bike and i've seen a few gravel trails that i might want to dip into on my way home 50 miles in on my longest ride attempt for the katie kookaburra strava challenge um, I had a really lovely tailwind all the way out and it's a bit of a brutal headwind on the way back but just taking it steady and enjoying it and took it into my banana loaf. Cheers! 64 miles into my 100k ride, I've done a bit extra questioning my life choices right now. So just got back from a 107 mile around the uh, Hampshire countryside around Southampton. A beautiful route, um, feel really tired i um, very happy that I've not really uh, ridden that kind of distance since I was a teenager and I uh, feel very, very happy um, that uh, those kind of things are in my, um, in my possibility again. Uh, thanks very much for the challenge, Katie.